time. Yes, it's yet another episode of Cook With Me with your present Yan. Thank you for watching and thank you for liking. Continue to like on our YouTube channel, Cooking Techniques. And today we have our guest here. She's going to tell us her names. Uh, hello, princess. How are you? Nice to meet you on our show, Cook With Yan. Okay. What are your names? My name is Anna Sereposhadia. She's called Anna Sereposhadia. But I prefer calling her Shadi. She's called Shadi. It's okay, thank you. And you're most welcome. Shadi, she's here. But by the way, how old are you? I am 14 years old. Shadi is 14 years old. But for me, I look, she looks like over 16. But anyway, let's take it like that. Yes, on our show today, Shadia is going to tell us what she's going to prepare. Shadia, what are you going to prepare? I'm going to prepare beef. Yes, Shadia said that she's going to prepare beef. Remember beef, this is meat got from the cow or a bull. So Shadia, without taking any other second, let's see Shadia starting off with the beef cooking. Like I told you, we are right here in the kitchen and Shadia, she's trying to prepare her beef. She's doing the first step of washing her hands. Then after, she's going to, wa to wash the beef or clean the beef. Shadia, why is it that you're washing that beef? To remove the dust. To remove the dust. Yes, it is very essential or healthy to first clean the beef. Remember that we are cleaning it so that we remove that dust and we eat healthy things. That's good. boiling our beef yes as you can see there we're boiling our beef as we are preparing the other ingredients in our ingredients we yes. have green pepper okay. carrot Yes, we are here. We're cutting our spices, our ingredients that we are going to mix with the beef. Shadi, why are you putting salt at that step? Putting salt to make sure that the beef gets ready in time. Okay.
Shadia. Mm. Are you going to leave the tomatoes like this or? No. Mm. What, what are you going to do with them? Because I'm seeing that in big sizes. I'm going to grate them. You're going to grate them? No, grate them. He's now putting on some little cooking oil because it doesn't need a lot of cooking oil. How do you say it? Now come and take over. Take over, take over, take over. A good aroma when you mix it in your beef. It's cooking some pieces of garlic, but remember, it should not exceed more than two seeds. When you exceed more than two seeds, the smell will, will be too much, or the aroma will be too much. So it should not exceed but two seeds of garlic. Yes, we are applying now our onion, our carrots. What are the use of the carrots? The carrots make the soup good. It look beautiful. That's why I'm applying it. applying the carrots. Now I'm putting, putting tomatoes to make our meat.
My meat is ready. Now I'm going to serve it. Finally, finally. Eh, eh, I've been craving for this beef. The appetite is increasing by now. I can't wait to take a bite of this beef. Finally, finally, we are going to, to show this beef that God gave us some teeth. We are going on a diet. I'm sure it's going to serve me. Thank you for watching. Hello viewers, welcome back from that session, the kitchen moment. Right now we are here with our beef and it's ready. We've been with Shadia and Shadia has done this very beautiful work. Shadia, well done. Remember Shadia is just for clean years, but she's come up with this beautiful mix, our beef. So we are going to see and test what Shadia has prepared. Shadian, continue doing, continue learning, and continue teaching other friends. Remember, how can you preserve the beef? You can preserve the beef by salting, freezing, or smoking it. In Uganda, a kilogram of meat is around 13,000 or 14,000. You can go by yourself a kilogram in different kinds of and areas in Uganda. Uh, have you ever known that not every meat is made? Different animals, different animals in Uganda give us different meat and all those meat has their names. For example, the sheep gives us the mutton, the cow gives us the beef, the goat gives us the goat's meat, the fish gives us the fish millet, the fish fillet, the pig gives us the pork, and the rabbit gives us the rabbit pie. Go get yourself any of that kind of meat. Session cookery time. In our session, remember we bring you terms that are used in cooking. Today we have the word beef burger. B E E F B U R G E R. What does it mean? It is a fried or grilled cake from minced meat. Go get yourself one in any nearest food shop around you. This is a show that brings you the kids below the age of 15 years, showing us the different techniques in cooking various foodstuffs. Thank you for watching our show. Continue liking, commenting, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Cooking Techniques. See you next time. Bye-bye.